This is the best one. This is Asus VivoBook Pro 15. It is one of the best 9 game mini laptop in the market and it's priced well. I don't know why, but it's priced at uh, almost 1500 bucks with Intel Core Ultra 7 processor and NVIDIA RTX 4060, which is great. It also has a 3K OLED display. I love this laptop. But first, I want to thank this video sponsor, UPDF. They have one of the best PDF editors and with AI, it can be the best for you, especially if you do a lot of works with PDF files. More on them later in the video. Let's start the review with body and chassis design. This laptop is made out of aluminum on the lid and plastic on the shell. It feels great and I like it. There is two color options, black and silver. This is the silver one and I like the build quality here, but the hinge is single axis and because of that, I have concerns about the durability and uh, lifespan of the hinge. Uh, because of that, we have a little bubble on the hinge, but it is okay and it's not that bad. Uh, overall, I like the build quality and the design here and also I like the keyboard here. It has full size keyboard, it has numpad and uh, the keyboard layout is uh, as the same as uh, you remember. I like it. It has white backlight. It doesn't uh, look good in the uh, daylight, but in the night you can turn on the backlight and use it. In the day with white backlight on the white keys, uh, the visibility will go wrong and you can see the keys as proper when it's turned off. Also the trackpad here is one of the best trackpads uh, in this price range. I like it. It also has Asus dial and it is good that it supports Asus dial but uh, I don't know why it has Asus dial and you should control it with Asus dial app which is part of Asus Pro Art application. I mean um, this laptop supports ProArt features, but it doesn't support ProArt application. I don't know why. And if you want to control your laptop, you should do it with limited features of my Asus applications, which I don't like. As for the ports, this laptop has two USB Type-C ports. One of them is USB at USB Type-C at 10 gigabits per second, and the other one is USB Thunderbolt 4 ports. And there is two other USB type A ports at 5 gigabits per second, which is good. And I like the port selection here. And also there is HDMI 2.1, RJ45 at gigabit speed. And also there is an SD card slot, which is good. It supports up to 300 megabytes of speed, which is great. This is the best laptop for creators, developers, programmers, and anyone who works and jobs are related to these kind of jobs. And I gotta say, as someone who is a content creator, I really love this laptop. As about the weight, I can say I like the weight of this laptop. It weighs at 1.8 kilograms, which is good. And with the charger, it goes up to 2.3 kilos, which is good too. And I can say it is easy to carry around. But if it's hard for you to carry a 500 gram charger, you can also charge this laptop with 100 watts charger through USB Type-C. For this section, I can give this laptop a 9 out of 10 score. So what do you think? What a score will you give this laptop? Tell us in the comments below. Let's talk about the display. The display on this laptop is one of the main advantages of it. It has a 3K OLED 120Hz display at 400 nits of brightness and 100% DCI P3. It is one of the greatest screens I've ever seen in any laptop. So it will be good for gaming. If you want to game on this laptop, I don't know why, but it is great for content creation workloads like uh, doing video edits in Adobe applications or photo edits in Adobe Photoshop, or you are a graphic designer, you use Illustrator, you use Figma. This laptop is one of the greatest for you and also if you are a programmer, it is good for you too, because with this uh, clarity, with the sharpness of this screen, you can easily stare at this screen without any problem. And it's a OLED. I like it. But this screen has two problems. One of them is this screen is too reflective. It, like 
look how reflective the screen is and the other one is this screen is a 16 by 9 display 16 by 9 is good for gamers but for content creators like uh, like myself i prefer 16 by 10 why because i will have more screen real estate to work with and in adobe applications like adobe premiere i i really like using 16 by 10 screens because there is more things I can do on my screen. There is more things I can see on my screen. And this is too tight for me. Uh, especially because my own laptop is a 16 by 10 laptop. And this one is 16 by 9. And it was just hard for me to work with this laptop. So there is two problems with it. So I will give it a 9 out of 10 score. So let's talk about UPDF. UPDF is a powerful PDF editor which uses AI to make sure everything you want is with you. You can easily edit your PDF files or convert and OCR them or highlight some parts of it. You can also add watermarks or some other tools with this application. One of the best features of this application is AI summarization that can work with almost any common language in the world like English or Arabic which is great you can also ask some questions from this AI which is great and also it can create something like a mind map for you to understand the PDF file or article you are reading a lot better I loved using this app and I can suggest you to use it there is a special deal on their website I will link it below this video in the description and in the first pinned comment so you can enjoy the Black Friday deals they have on their site there is up to 50% discount on their website so check them out with the link in the description below you can also get monthly or perpetual plans which is great thanks again to our sponsor UPDF you can download their app for your Windows Mac iOS or Android machine and use it with ease as for the performance, this laptop right here has Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor with NVIDIA RTX 4060 at 150 watts and 8 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, which is good. And I think this is one of the greatest laptops for content creators uh, like me or you, which are watching this video. And I can say I like the performance here, but there is one catch here. What is the catch? This laptop comes with 8 GB of RAM on board and you can upgrade it to 16 GB or 24 GB. I hate to say it, but 8 GB on board is just not good. I beg you Asus, I beg you, don't use 8 GB of onboard memory on these kind of laptops. Content creators need more RAM. If this laptop could support up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, we could see a lot better performance in content creation applications like Adobe Premiere than these results that we have here. And I can't say I'm happy with 24 gigabytes of RAM, but here are the scores and benchmarks I should tell you. We started with Cinemesh R23, which is a 10 minute test to see how well the CPU and the CPU cooling can perform in long-term tests and heavy tests. And in Cinemesh R23, we got almost 16,000 scores, which is good. It is as expected we want to see in this kind of laptop and in Core Ultra 7. Uh, it is like others and there is nothing special, which is okay. As for Cinemesh 2024, we tested this laptop and we got uh, almost 880 a score in Cinemesh 2024. And also in the GPU test, we got almost 9,700 a scores, uh, which is okay, but we've seen better results uh, with RTX 4060. But for this kind of laptop, it is a good score. We also tested Geekbench on this laptop and we got almost 12,000 scores, which is good. And also we tested Time Spy in this machine that can show us how well 3D applications and games can perform in this laptop. And we got around 10,200 scores, which is good. I can say I was happy with the results. It is uh, almost the same as other 4060 laptops. For the SSD, this laptop has SN560 Western Digital SSD. And it's a common SSD between ASUS, mid-range ASUS laptops, and uh, it is the same as the others. Uh, 5 gigabytes of speed for the read and 3.5 gigabytes of speed for the write. 
As for the content creation applications, in Adobe Premiere, we got 4 minutes and 55 seconds, which is good. It is one of the best scores in this kind of laptops. And I should say, with 32 gigabytes of RAM, we could get a lot better performance. But what, look, what did you do, Asus? Look, what did you do? In Adobe After Effects, uh, we got 6 minutes and 19 seconds of render time. Uh, which is too low, I think, but in the benchmarks too, we didn't get a good single core score. I don't know why, but as I expected from Cinebench single core scores, Adobe After Effects wasn't great in this laptop too, because Adobe After Effects is depend on single core performance, and the single core performance in this laptop wasn't that great. I don't know why, but it wasn't that great. As for the games, I know this is not a gaming laptop, but we tested some games for you. Uh, we tested uh, some games like Cyberpunk 2077 in four different scenarios, and in all of them, uh, we got almost acceptable frame rates. We tested this laptop in preset ray tracing ultra, uh, ray tracing ultra plus frame generation in DLSS 3, uh, in preset ray tracing ultra plus frame generation in FSR 3, preset ultra, preset ultra without ray tracing in FSR2 and a customized preset in ray tracing ultra without any help from AI like DLSS or FSR to see how well the raw performance can perform and as you can see on the screen the scores are almost okay but if you want to play games like Cyberpunk in this machine you should lower your screen resolution to 1080p it can't run games at 3K uh, native resolution of the screen. We also tested Rainbow Six Siege on this machine and in that game too, in four different scenarios, ultra high, low, and ultra in FHD resolution, we got uh, more than acceptable frame rates because uh, this laptop has only 120 hertz screen and if we can get more than 120 frames per second, it is fine for us to play the game in this laptop. And I can say, in average, in the heaviest scenario, we got almost 140 FPS, which is good. It means we can run Rainbow Six Siege or such games in this laptop without any problem. We also tested Valorant in this machine, which is a CPU heavy title. And in Valorant 2, uh, we got nice results and I was happy with it because it was at 3K resolution. We also tested Apex Legends, which is an eSport title, but it is mostly GPU heavy. And in that test too, uh, we got interesting and almost okay results. Uh, the minimum frame rate uh, for the Ultra preset wasn't that great, but the other presets and other frame rates was uh, well enough for me at least. And we should consider this test was running on 3K resolution. We also tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark in two different scenarios, in 3K screen and FHD. And in both scenarios, we got more than 60 FPS, which is good for a campaign mode and a story mode games. In Wokong 2, we got more than 60 FPS in average in auto benchmark, which is good. Overall, I can say in the performance section, I can give this laptop an 8 out of 10 score. I was happy with the results, but there is some catches like RAM upgrades. And if you can deal with it, you can go for it. As for the speakers, I can say I like the speakers here. Uh, the sound will be a little muffled and the highest uh, volume, but uh, overall, I loved hearing the speakers. I can easily watch videos with it, but if you want to hold a party with this laptop, you can't do it because it is for a single person. If you want to uh, make a Halloween party, you should get an external speaker.
It has a five megapixel webcam, which has a good video quality, and I like it. And what do you think about the uh, uh, mic quality? Tell us in the comments below. I I like it. It's one of the best webcams I've ever seen. I can record YouTube videos easily without any problem with this webcam. It supports 2K video recording, which is nice. What do you think about it? Tell us in the comments. As for the battery life, this laptop has a 75 watt hour battery, and I can say you can get more than six hours of battery life, but uh, the 3K OLED screen will drain your battery. And I'm not joking. Just by uh, keeping it on, you will see your battery is uh, dying because this screen is too power hungry. And you can uh, set the laptop to go 60 Hz on battery and you can change it to 1080p if you want more battery life but uh, the overall battery life of this laptop because of the intel chip and the oled screen is not that great it is on average of windows laptops so you will be uh, you should think of some workarounds if you want to buy this laptop in conclusion i can say i was happy with the results on this laptop but there is two catches with this laptop one is the RAM upgradeability and the second one is unfortunately the 15.6 16 by 9 screen I don't like it I prefer 16 by 10 screens for this kind of laptop and you can't deny the fact that people like me prefer 16 by 10 screens what about you do you like 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 screens tell us in the comments below and what do you think about the asus vivobook pro 15 or n6506 mv uh, tell us in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe